I have uh, discovered the newest force of nature. Quantum physics. We talk about four uh, forces that control the universe. First of all, it's gravity. Second, electromagnetism. And the other two are the strong and weak nuclear forces. People talk a lot about uh, quantum physics and everything, but they don't know anything about the very important part of humans and living creatures, and that's psyche. Your psyche is everything. Your feelings, your urge, your want, everything. Do you know where all of these things are located? Everywhere. In your heart, in your brain, in your stomach, and in a field. Each of us have what is called a Bhavanga field. You know the field? Quantum field physics, right? All kinds of fields. Right now they have counted 25 fields. The field is like a, um, a matrix where the subatomic particles jump from. Like for example, you have the, the newest one is the Higgs field. Peter Higgs is a, a British theoretical physicist and he hypothesizes what is called the Higgs boson. You know, it is belongs to a field and when the Big Bang started, a lot of subatomic particles had no mass. They ran all over the place. And then they ran through this field called Higgs field. They began to have mass. He won the Nobel Prize for that in 2012. They found a field to his name in the uh, CERN, that's a big center of the uh, nuclear research between Switzerland and France. They found that boson and that proves that his theory is correct. So that's the newest news in physics. They are trying to, to build what is called the theory of everything to explain the whole universe including us. They have to try very hard. I don't think they have gotten anywhere. You know why? Because they missed a very important component, and that is our psyche and consciousness. They got no idea what they are. But then, I, by reading only, I, this is not my invention. I only learn from the knowledge of, uh, of our ancestors. There is a new field and a new force that nobody talked about. The field is the field related to psyche. And the particle, let me just give it a name. It's a psyche. You have a fermion, you have a boson, right? Now I introduce what is called the psyche, which is the fundamental particle related to our psyche. I've been reading Buddhist scriptures. We are talking about all those things a long, long time ago, 2,500 years ago. But maybe people didn't pay any attention. Aristotle doesn't know anything about psyche. He said, what it is? I don't know. Is it something real? Or is it in your imagination? Is it um, forever? Or is, does it have a life? Is it uh, divisible? Is it composed of many parts? He has no ideas. And that's one of our greatest philosophers, right? But in Buddhism, Buddha says, there is a basic unit called Kasana Psyche and it lasts maybe shorter but the, the longest would be one Planck time. Planck is the first 
theoretical physicist of the world. He is actually Einstein's superior. And he somehow found out the shortest distance imaginable and the shortest time imaginable. And the shortest time is the time for light to travel through that shortest distance. And it is 10 to the minus 43 seconds. When you talk about 10 to the minus 9 is 1 billionth of a second. We are all, we are controlled by Psyche. Buddha, by the force of his meditation, his concentration of the mind and inside, found out the smallest unit of Psyche is a Sana Psyche. According to Buddha, we don't live one life. You live innumerable lives. So long as those lives, you cause things that have effects in the future. The future could be in your later life, maybe 10 lives from now or 15 lives from now. But then you have six realms of, of uh, living creatures. You have angel. you do have angel. You have human beings. You have uh, animals. You have the world of the ghosts. And you have hell. All those levels. All depends on the, your action while you live. But throughout many lives. Karma, that's the word. Karma. The psyche is a form of energy and the most basic form of energy because it makes you human or animals. You see? But this is a whole kind of like structure of concepts that I cannot go through in a few minutes, you know. I think I'm going to have something very interesting to bring you. But anyway, for now, at least I have that book. It's called what is Psyche? The Great Adventure. And it's by Kimball.